everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this crochet tutorial I will be showing you how to crochet this really beautiful but quite delicate ripple or chevron stitch. As you can see it's more of a gentle delicate one, it's not quite as you know up and down as some of the other chevrons and ripples that are on my channel so this is just like a mini ripple really and it just gives a really really sweet and nice effect. So you can see I've been using lots of different colours here and I've been doing two rows of each colour but you can just use one colour to do the whole thing or a variegated cake, you can use literally anything you like and just use whatever hook size your chosen yarn recommends. So you can see that the edges on this stay really beautifully straight and neat and it's just a really nice one for baby blankets and obviously for any sort of really large blanket as well but it would also be a good one for scarf. It is a one row repeat, it works up quite quickly because we're using quite big stitches so I will say at this point as well if you're not already subscribed to my channel then make sure that you do that now and also to click on the little bell icon and to choose to receive all notifications that way you will never miss whenever I upload a brand new crochet tutorial. So I will leave the link and the name of all of the colours that I have used here just in case anybody is wondering but let's just crack on with the tutorial. So for your foundation chain you want it to be a multiple of 10 so chain the width that you need your project to be just make sure it's a multiple of 10. So obviously 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So if you just chain your multiple of 10. So obviously just remember when you're doing a ripple stitch the length of your flat chain isn't the length that it will end up once you've worked your ripple, it will obviously shorten up so just bear that in mind. So once you've done all your multiples of 10 you want to add an additional 2 chains to the end and then we're going to work back along your foundation chain. So we're going to be working into the third chain from the hook so you never count the one on your hook and we've got 1, 2 and this is our third. And for the entirety of this project you're going to be doing UK treble crochet. So obviously as I say that is the UK term, in the US these are your double crochet. So if you're used to US terms, whenever you hear me say treble just ignore me and think double. So treble into that third chain, so yarn over, insert into your chain, yarn over and pull up and you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over pull through the next two loops so that is your first treble. You then want a treble into each of the next three chains so we've done one so we want one into the next three. So into your very next chain you'll yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. So two more so one into the next two chains Okay, so ignoring the skipped chains at the beginning, you have now got four treble crochets. We're then going to create a dip, so we're going to skip two chains and then we're going to work four trebles again. So skip two and then one treble into the next four stitches. So skip two and then a treble. And again, so you want four trebles again. So we're going to create a peak by chaining two but we're not going to skip any stitches this time we're going to work straight into the next chain and you're going to start your four trebles again so straight into the next chain you'll start your next four trebles so one two three and four Again we want to create our next dip, so you want to skip two chains and then your four trebles again, working back up. Again, 
again we're ready to create our next peak so chain two and then work your four trebles back down starting in the very next chain and you'll just repeat that all the way along so four trebles now and then you want to create your dip so you will skip two chains four trebles chain two four trebles back down skip two and you'll just work that all the way across and I will meet you as you get towards the end so I've got towards the end now I've just got six stitches left I have just completed my four trebles after a peak so now I want to skip two chains as normal so we will have four chains left so I will work one treble into each of those last four stitches so I'll skip two and then one treble but don't steam ahead because this last stitch will be different so one treble into those final four chains however we want the beginning and the end to match so if you remember here we had four trebles but we also had these skipped stitches which counted as another treble so we want four trebles at the end here but you're going to put another treble into that very last chain so your final chain will have two trebles in it okay and that is how you should look at this point it might not look like much as I say this is a much more delicate ripple pattern than some of the others so we're going to turn you can either chain two at this point or you can do exactly what I'm about to do which is to insert my hook into that very first stitch into the top I'm going through the whole of the stitch yarn over and pull up and yarn over and pull through both you then want to go behind the vertical post of that stitch yarn over and pull up again yarn over and pull through both and that just gives you a treble height stitch but without doing a chain two so you don't get any of the gapping that you would normally get you're then going to go back into that very same stitch that you've just worked up from and you're going to put a treble so back into that very same stitch you will put a treble so you've got two trebles into that very first stitch okay so we have got are four trebles from the row below but you're only going to be working into three of the trebles so you'll put one treble into the next three stitches again go through the whole of the stitch I mean you don't have to you could do um, back loops only to get a sort of ridged effect okay so we have got our stitches so that is three trebles worked into the top of those three trebles from the row below you then want to skip these next two stitches because we're creating our dip so that is why you don't work into all four so you're going to skip the last treble and also the first treble of the run up towards the peak so you'll skip two stitches and then you will work into the top of the final three stitches up towards your peak so skip two and then one treble into those next three trebles and then into your chain two space which is your peak you're going to create a new peak so you're going to put a treble crochet chain two and back into that same chain space you will put another treble crochet so that has created your new peak you're then going to work back down so you're going to do one treble into the next three trebles so you'll still have your four trebles going up and going down but they just work slightly differently to the foundation row. So one treble into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And then again at this point you're wanting to create your dip so you will skip the next two trebles, so the last treble and the first treble, and then you will work back up one treble into those next three stitches which will create your dip and also work you back up to your peak and then again in your chain two peak you will do a treble chain two and back into that same space you'll do another treble and then again work back down so one treble into the next three stitches so if you just repeat that 
all the way along and I will meet you as you get towards the end and we will finish off this row together. Okay, so I've worked that pretty much all the way along. I've done my last dip and then one treble into those next three stitches and then into that very end, which is the turning chains that we did from the beginning, those skipped stitches, you're going to put your two trebles into that last stitch so it's a funny one because obviously it's not a proper stitch at this point because it's just the skipped chains from the beginning of your foundation row. So you'll always finish with two trebles in the same stitch and start with two trebles in the same stitch. So that is how you should be looking at this point. So if you were carrying on with the same colour you would repeat that row exactly as you've just done. You would turn and then you would go straight into your first stitch just here and work up that treble height stitch. However, I'm just going to change colour here. So I'm actually going to just pull out until I've got those last two loops. So when I change colour, I stop with the last two loops of my treble and I just grab the loop of my new colour and pull it through those last two. I do a chain one just to secure that and just pull it nice and tight. And I'm then ready to turn and work up as normal. So again, into that very first stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both, and then behind the vertical post, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both, and then straight back into that very same stitch, you'll do another treble. And then you're ready to start working your repeat pattern. So one treble into the next three stitches, And then again, creating your dip so you will skip two and then one into the next three stitches again. And then create your new peak with your treble, chain two and treble back in the same space. And then again, you're ready to work down. So one treble in the next three. three and then again dip so you're going to skip two and work back up so again if you work that all the way along and I'll meet you one final time just to firm up the end placement of those stitches okay so I've completed my final dip I've done my treble into the next three stitches and then into your very last stitch you need to do your two trebles in the same stitch so one and two and that is how you should be looking at this point. Obviously, as I showed you at the beginning, it exactly how it will look as you work up. But that is the row that you will just need to repeat over and over again until your project is the length that you need it to be. But I really do hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also come back again for some more crochet tutorials. But that is it for this one and I will see you again soon. But thank you as always for watching and I'll see you again really soon. Bye for now.